a motorized um, paint roller, which I did not even know that they made. And I was watching HSN at home yes. one day, just not too long ago, and I saw you pre uh, premiering this. It's from a company called Wagner, and it's called the Smart Kick, a uh, Sidekick Motorized Paint Roller. And I love it because I remember when I painted the living room. Yes. What a pain in the neck reloading that, that uh, right. roller. This is why people don't, on a rainy day, perfect time to paint, right? Okay, so wait a minute. So, so, uh, listen, let me, before we get into this, what? I just want you to know it's $89.95, but you're going to want this so badly because it's going to take all of the aggravation out of bending over, loading yes. the paint, doing the wall. This is over. what we don't like. Okay, and then listen, also, it's at free shipping, and we've got it on three flex payments for $29.98. Okay. okay, so, so yeah. here's the problem. Let me just say, we all know, right? We don't like to paint because why? We have to bend over, oi, our back, right? Yeah, right. And then we do this, and then it's, oh, it's spilling all over the place, and then we're tracking it through, and then we back up, and now we're stepping in our oh, tray. Hey. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that anymore. So how does this work now? Show this me. This is, Wag Wagner is the leader of direct feed at paint applicators okay. like this. This right. is the sidekick. Now, when you store it, you put a little piece of plastic over it, which is what I've done. Okay. And this is how easy it is now to paint your wall. I'm just gonna get right to it, folks. So this is not a sprayer. It's, right. it's actually a, a device that you you feed from the paint can. Right. It's feeding the roller and it's feeding right. it so that you can now start now to I roll just, without I stopping. Just, I just started it. So now what you do is when you first start it, you're going to feed that paint. You're gonna push that paint through the roller. You have a 16 foot feeding tube of the paint and look how easy this is oh my god all i do is i just literally put this right on my wall now what happens is you will load up your roller and then you spread it on your wall so that you don't overuse the paint yes exactly look and at now, this look at this and i guess when your paint roller starts running a little dry that's when it's time to pull the trigger and the trigger is actually a button that's on the roller handle so yes. as you're doing this, you're watching, it's kind of like an interactive thing, but you never have to stop. Look how fun you, this is. Do you know, for painters that are watching, because I've watched painters professionally do this, they must love this. They must be ordering this for themselves, because you never have to stop. Look at this. Now you can use latex, you can use oil, you can use whatever paint that you would like. Clean up is a breeze, but look at this. Look, I don't even have to stop. That happens to be a pretty color orange. You like that, isn't that nice? I think it's very springy, yes. summery kind of, it, it definitely is enticing. And that's the thing. See, the reason why, Bill, people like to paint, because it's the least expensive way to spruce up the inside of your home and give it that facelift. Now, as you can see, as soon as I get enough paint on my roller, uh -huh. I stop it. And you can I use this in out. conjunction with uh, an extension bar, right? Yes, you can. Like a handle. Absolutely. So if you want to use this for the ceiling, because that's the worst. Uh, am I right? Let, yes. Let it, doing a ceiling where you've got to stop. Look at that. Reload your paint roller and then reach back up to the roof. Yes. It'll drive you crazy. Okay, let me show you how easy this is. Okay, so Let's now, get over here on the table because whether you're doing a wall, a ceiling, doesn't matter if it's your porch, your garage. Okay. This is how easy it is. Okay, so I have primed this. Let me show you kind of the mechanics of this. This is the pump right here. That's when it? you turn this on, yes, this will fit over a one gallon, a five gallon, doesn't matter. Okay. It has a feeding tube that goes into the paint. Okay. When you turn this on, and I turn <coughs> this button on, now, I've already primed this. It's so funny that you and I both wear, wore white pants today. <laughs> well, see, listen, you know, painters wear white. But not only that, I feel so good about wearing white because there's no mess to this. Yeah, there's no and splatter. And that's what it is that people don't like about painting is the mess, the cleanup, easy cleanup on this. Listen, for what you're going to spend for the paint, you want to save your money. And you want to spread that paint out? Yes. The way to do it is not to overload a, a paint roller, which we all make the mistake of doing. Because right. when you dip it into a paint, uh, you know, paint tray, you have a natural tendency to immerse the paint roller. I, I, you, I'm telling you, I'm talking like a painter because I've painted enough in my life to know that's what happens. Yes. And then you go through too much paint. Like if you tell them how large, the, them, you tell the paint store the uh, square footage that you want to paint, they can normally estimate how many gallons you need. Right. And I never seem to have enough paint. Now I know why. Now look, I'm overusing if, paint. I, if I kept this on, 
it would go through about 10 gallons in an hour. That's how much paint can go through here. But you wouldn't do that, obviously, because no. you can't really paint that So fast. you'll just wait till it starts getting yes. like white and spotty, and then but, you'll know to reload your paint but, roller. But what's nice about this, look, if you have a porch, a painted porch, you want to put a mm -hmm. nice coat of paint on it, Put a nice coat of paint on it. It's easy. That is the thing. You don't have to reach over anymore and then keep putting it. Oh, let's talk about cleanup because cleanup's a breeze. It takes about 10 minutes to clean up. All you do is you get a five-gallon bucket, okay. a little soapy water, put a little uh, fabric softener in there, and that helps also help clean it up. And then fabric softener. All you have to yes, little fabric softener. And so you actually will run it through the roller. Yes, you put it through. Ah. You will actually push your paint back into the paint bucket. But when that water starts to come through, and you'll be able to see it through that clear tube. It's a 16 foot tube. Uh -huh. Then you just start like dump, you you suck from the soapy water into a clean bucket and you ah. just literally clean you let it do the cleaning that is what's okay, so great about it let me tell you it. something for everybody that wants to paint their house yes. and has dreaded doing it because you know what most people do most people tell their friends and their family that they're having a paint party <laughs> and they invite you over and they order the pizza or they have beer soda whatever and they hand you a brush or they hand you a roller when you walk in and you're like what are we doing right oh we're painting we're having a paint party and you're like, yeah, I didn't want to do that on my Sunday. But anyway, this is going to save you the aggravation of having to ask anybody for anything. Because I want to tell you that the biggest thing is when you're using a roller is reloading your roller. Right. Because you're I, leaning over. I mean, your back hurts at the end of the day. This, you don't have to do that. I have a popcorn ceiling texture on this because I wanted to show you how wonderful this roller handles that. And if you've painted a ceiling, you know how well, how problematic that is because you once you start getting on it then it's time to look down and then reload your roller look how easy this is folks I'm amazed now, by this. do you notice i have a wooden handle guess where this came from a broom a broom i just literally took the head off mm. of the broom and i attached it to this handle right here which accepts the the end of the broom right here and now I have an extension. That's how easy this is. You you can do your home now. You can do your whole home practically in a day. Do, so think you, about I, that. I, I want to hear from one person who just placed their order for this that has the intention of painting their apartment, their home. If you're a painter and you're ordering this, I want to hear from you. The number to call is one 376 8255. I, I know we just had like a hundred people call to order it just like that. We want to know what it is that you are thinking right now, whether it's a project that you have up and coming or you do this for a living. Maybe you're changing vocations and you want to take up painting because painting is really something that there, there's an art to it. And, there, yes. you know, and to hire a good painter, you need somebody that really has a good eye that can see that make sure that there's not like uh, paint marks left behind right. or that the paint is and also that paint has been evenly applied. So this is going to give you, if you are going into that business, a real edge. Because now you know that you're loading that paint roller and you're doing it methodically. Where you're, yeah. at, you're, you're not just imbalanced to the way you're applying paint and throwing up, you know, lumps of paint here and there. Because it's a mess when you do that. Right, exactly. Now, if you can see here how easy. Now, this is how you load the roller, okay? So you first have to pump the paint through that 16-foot tube and this is how you prime the roller. That's exactly what he's doing right there. He's priming the roller. Once he gets it primed, you'll be able to see it just is easy. It just goes so fast. Now, depending on how fast you are will depend on how many times you are pressing that button. It has an auto feed button that you turn on and off. Mm -hmm. Very, very easy. You know, for five gallons of like decor paint, really good paint, quality paint, you're gonna spend $100, maybe yes. more. Average. If, I'm giving if, you an average. Yes, if that. But for $89.95 and you'll own it forever, I want you to think about this. If you've got a 1,500 square foot home or if you've got a 2,000 or 3,000 square foot home, I want you to think about how much money you're going to save because the average homeowner will spend approximately for not just painting, but for painting and trim between two and $3,000 to paint their home over right. the interior. And, and that's, you know, that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money for anybody in any language, in any city, in any state. 
in any country. You're right. It's a lot of money. Because the for $100 only... Bar, you know, for, for maybe $100, you know, get, uh, five gallons of paint, for $89.95, do it yourself. Look how Spread fun it this out. is. Yeah. Look how fun. Look at my results. I now have professional results. And not only that, now you're going to get your, your this significant... This is making me want to paint. <laughs> you're going to get your kids, your significant other going, come on, Mom, let me paint. Let me paint this, right? I know, or, because you know on, what? Dad. It makes it fun because <laughs> it's taking the aggravation and the back-breaking event out of the bending over. The loading, the paint, and the roller, the brushes, the cans. Yeah. Forget about it. Listen. Roll it on. And now let me ask you, do you need yes. a special roller itself? Well, yes. This is this <coughs> is their Wagner roller. So okay. these rollers, are you have to replace ever? Well, it depends. If you clean it properly, and again, what you want to do is you uh -huh. want to clean it with some soapy water. Okay. Again, put a little fabric softener in it. You okay, but see. we uh, will sell extra ones, don't we? What's that? You know what? We're going to go on hsn.com, but not. We're going to make sure that we have these back in stock if they've sold out already. And then the extra rollers, because you know what? If you're doing a couple colors, you may want to keep one for one. So here's the thing. You get one roller with it. Yes. You can get more rollers. Right now, they are sold out. But you know something? Look at this. W wash it out if you're going to do a two-color job. Like some people want to paint, you know, optical white for the ceiling, and then they may want to use a paint color in the rest of the house. That's right. Exactly. Now, look at what I've done here. Oh, I have literally painted three walls in the time I've been here. I, I mean, three you just walls. did the equivalent of two-thirds of a room. I, I know. And not only that. And I mean, you're talking. Look, hello. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, I'm wearing white on top of it, right? I know. You haven't got a drop on your... <laughs> which is... I've been waiting for some splatter. There's no splatter. So okay. again, let's go through that back through cleanup so that okay. they can use their roller over and over. How okay. do they do this again? So you push, you, you release the roller right in there, okay, right into the soapy water. And now you take your feeding tube and you push the paint back into the paint that you have in the tube, back into your paint can because you don't want to lose that. And when that water goes all the way through, now just run it through for about five or ten minutes and it's that easy. It's easy I, I, peasy. I can't believe this. I want to paint something. Yes. Is it... <laughs> Here, you know what? I'll, tell, I'll do something for you right over here. What do you want me to turn these upside down? No, yep. probably ruin the Hold table. Hold on just a minute here. Okay. I'm going to let you oh, paint, I gotta paint this, this right here. Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yay. There you go. I'm going to get a piece of this. I'm going here. We'll go Who's like on this. first? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, you got it? I'll just bring this over here. Okay. This is what's nice about this tube. You notice? See how it clips on? It has this slide click on. I mean, you know, it's so funny because we've offered this. other ma manual things in the past and they're just messy and they don't work as well. This is awesome. If you're a professional painter, you know, you really need to think about this because you're going to get work done in half the time. You're also going to get the job done very evenly. I can't believe this is my first Isn't time this doing great? this. Yeah. Now, when no, I don't mean painting, but first time using this, the Wagner. When it's time to take a break and you want to nosh, you want to take a little, you know, uh, get a coffee break, all you do, you don't have to worry about that. Just put it in a little bit of plastic, just like this. To keep it moist. Okay? Just to keep the air, because the air is can be your friend or your enemy, depending on if you want the paint to dry or stay wet, right? So you want to keep it wet. Just put a little plastic over there. Go have your lunch, and when you're ready to paint again, just take it off. I've got several friends that are watching this show right now, and they're thinking, oh, I'm on it. Oh, yeah. Because yes. you know what? If you uh, if recently, and they've come up with some great new paint colors, there's a charcoal gray, like a slate gray, that has become this huge decorator color in the last, I'm gonna say the last six, seven months. Everybody's painting this color. And it's a beautiful color with lavenders and purples. So if you're thinking, you know, I'm gonna redo my bedroom. And you call a painter, painter goes, yeah, I'll come to your house and I'll charge you like four or 500 bucks to do a bedroom. Oh, You're yeah. like, forget about it. If you're lucky. Go spend $27 for a gallon of high quality, you know, paint and, and pick up the Wagner, you know, sidekick. And this is going to be your best sidekick ever. And I'm not talking about Linda. I know Linda he was be. talking about me. I'm talking about the Wagner sidekick because it's easy to use. You press a button. Uh, cleaning up takes about 10 minutes. Not you 10 minutes. The machine 10 minutes to clean. And then you clean the roller out and you can use it over and over and over again. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't believe we've already zoomed through our second hour of what was going to be HGTV Home Outdoors Lawn and Garden. But we've done some DIY stuff as well. And you're going to love this for painting a shed, for painting your home interior. Or you can use this for exterior paint, can you not? Yes, yes. It, it, exterior, interior, 
oil, latex, it doesn't matter. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much, Linda. Thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. You know, we've got a quick buy coming up, and then we've got...